What is happening, folks? It is Jimmy G in the place to be, bringing you to another great episode of The Good, The Bad, The Awesome, where I and Bucks give my first reaction to all things pop culture. So if you like to see what I see when I see it, you see it, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, get notified when we have new videos. And we are on our way to 4,000 subscribers, but we have our 3,000 subscriber giveaway going on right now. It's going on till the end of the month. Make sure you get in on that link of the video is down below in the description so get in on that kind of win something cool the other thing i'd like to do is say thank you to somebody thank you thank you thank you to my newest member of the channel mr clyde dashing clyde i like that name clyde dashing uh so thank you thank you thank you so much for supporting this channel all your all the monies that go into this channel actually go back into the channel uh so thank you for supporting that i'm up to four members now and if you'd like to be a member just there's it down there just do it uh what, what are you waiting for uh but today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the mcfarlane verse we're gonna go to marvel and mcfarlane as y'all saw before i've done the spider-man statue mcfarlane is making marvel statues and i'm usually not a statue type of guy i like action figures but i've done my fair share of reviews on some statues from mcfarlane toys mainly and we're doing one from this one from marvel which was the spider-man we did but we're doing another one because i really dug that spider-man one so we're going to take a look at the one six scale captain america and see if this can live up to the hype if mcfarlane does it again if lightning can strike twice so let's do it Here is the box, folks, with the Captain America statue, which, thank God, Best Buy did not put a little label here. This is where I got that one uh, from Best Buy, but you can pick it up at Amazon, Target, wherever you have your McFarlane toy needs. Does that sound weird? That sounds weird. Wherever you can buy your McFarlane toy, that sounds even weirder. But anyway, uh, but here is the box. This is based off of the Amazing Spider-Man issue number 323, which includes, this This includes the comic book in there. And so um, you'd guess it, uh, issue 323, guess who was the artist, the penciler, and the inker on that? Mr. Todd McFarlane himself. So this is based off of that comic book right there that you can see right there. But here's the box, here's the front, here's the back. There's a bigger kind of thing of that comic book and what it looks like. And so uh, really love this design of Captain America with the wings on the helmet. Uh, don't like the more sleek Captain America. I like the wings on the helmet, but you know what? To each their own on that. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to get this out, see what my impressions are about this statue. So let's get this out of the box now. Out of the box, onto my table as usual, but he's not standing up because I wanna put him together with you all. But I'm just gonna show you what comes in the box. So the first thing you get, you get this backdrop, beautiful, beautiful backdrop here. I don't know if you can see that. Let me just kind of bring, pan the camera over here so you can kind of see that backdrop. Very cool, as you can see my messy, messy desk. Uh, but uh, that is awesome, you get that backdrop. Uh, then you get this base right here. Uh, Captain America is made out of plastic, uh, painted really, really well. Love this logo right here. I love this classic looking logo. I think that looks good. That, sh that really pops, uh, but just kind of a cool kind of junky, looks like the top of a tank uh, kind of base right there. So that's, that's pretty awesome. And then you get the comic book. Let me just bring it in sideways here. Uh, so there it is, number 323. If you want to read it, you also get a card to go with it. Uh, now this is a reprint of this comic book because there's the back, which is the uh, 301 right there. Uh, and then last but not least, you get Captain America himself. So let me pop this up really quickly so that way you can kind of see him and then we'll do some measurements and get him in his base and stuff. But there he is. Let me bring in some light, some illumination. Illumination! There he is. I mean, love, love this blue, this, this kind of art ink work here looks really, really good. The paint job looks good. This is, uh, 
textured, so that's really nice. It feels feels really cool in the hand. So are the gloves. The gloves are textured. Uh, so love this kind of like scales looking uh, uniform here. Uh, very classic Captain America. The wings, definitely, definitely love that ad. I love how they made this to look like it is uh, art that just popped off the page. Uh, the shield looks really, really good. Looks like I, nope, don't have any paint defects. That's just a little bit of water. Uh, but love, again, the red, white, and blue. Now that blue does not match this blue. Uh, I don't know if that's a deal breaker for some people, but it's real shiny. It's still, it's all plastic. And then of course, here's the back of this figure with that big uh, star right there. But again, if you if I bring it in close, you don't really see any any kind of like paint mistakes. And there's that face. That face looks really, really good. Love the look of that face. And so this, this statue, it was uh, normally, it's 50 bucks and so because it's a one six scale and so that's a pretty good deal uh for a one six scale statue and i've seen some of them go for upwards of more uh so that's that's what i'm digging so we're gonna put this together it looks like it's pretty simple there's like three one two and three and then on the base you just kind of line those up and so we'll just kind of line it up get it together see what happens here and there we are. And so just like that, we have our Captain America on his base. And that looks gorgeous, my friends. I think he looks really, really good with that base. So uh, height-wise, what you're looking at on this, I'm going to pop this up so you can kind of see the top. Uh, actually, let me grab a box so I can raise my camera just a little bit. Give me just a second here. So got my camera popped up and Captain America as well as I can. I don't have them all the way in frame. I should get it on a tripod, but uh, let's go ahead and measure uh, the height of this statue. So from that, from the bottom to the top of the shield is about almost 13 inches. Uh, now to the top of the head, it's about almost 12, about a little over 12 inches. Now, if I go from the base, like of the figure, uh, the figure is going to be probably around 10 and a half inches with the top of the shield or around 11 and a half. Uh, so that's kind of what you're looking at from a height standpoint, a scale standpoint. Uh, if I move this to the side, let me bring in the other statue that I do have, which is the Spider-Man one that we did a review on not too long ago. And so there you go. It's kind of what they look like. You can kind of see. Very cool. And so Spider-Man's a little bit different in that cool, gnarly pose. Uh, if you want to see how he scales with, let's say, um, I don't have any McFarlane figures around me, but let me see what figures I do. I usually have some figures around me. Uh, I do have a uh, Fond Joy, the Superman here. And so uh, he's going to be just a little tiny dude. You can kind of see right there. Oh, sorry camera's doing stupid stuff uh but just a little tiny dude compared to captain america uh right there but yeah overall i am very impressed with these statues from mcfarland toys i think they've done a really really good job at capturing um the comic book look uh of that i think that when uh when you put it side by side with the comic book and i'll put that picture right in here uh that you'll see i think it looks really good and so let's get back together let's talk through some of my final thoughts around these statues and so what are my final thoughts on this mcfarland toys one sixth scale statue of captain america so let's bring it back in here it is this is the pose i'm going to keep it in because it's the only pose you can keep it in uh but I am digging these McFarlane statues. I think they two for two. The Spider-Man one was awesome. This Captain America one, I definitely love this shield. This shield looks great. Now, as I got to look a little bit more, there's a little bit of a defect on my shield right there, uh, which sucks, but it's there. Uh, but overall, the paintwork, the the where it looks like it's the illustration of the comic book popping off the um, the pages. I think they did a they they did a really really good job of that my only 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 complaint besides that little nick right there is it's not posable i would wonder what mcfarlane can do if they made posable marvel figures now i know hasbro has that license but man i uh, you know what would what would it look like if mcfarlane 
own the license to make posable Marvel figures. I'll tell you one thing, we'll probably have a thousand different versions of Spider-Man um, versus like the thousand different versions of Batman that we've got. Uh, but I think they would do a pretty decent job. Now, it would probably tick a lot of people off. It'd probably go into seven inch scale. He might do six inch scale. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, this, this is something that I, you know, I'd love to see. I know the statue is a good start for some people who are action figure collectors. They're probably going to, this will turn you off. You definitely don't, you're not going to get a statue, but I would say, give it a chance, give it a try. A lot of times your action figures are going to be in poses anyway. I think this looks really good, but if you're a statue fan and you want a good Captain America statue on a budget, uh, $49.99 right here, you may be able to find them on sale at times. So, but. But looks really really good i would give this on a scale of good bad awesome a freaking freaking awesome so captain america you are that is america's you know what right there it is but anyway uh that's all i gotta say about that so tune in next time when we talk about something else good bad or awesome but in the meantime y'all remember to stay young have fun and be awesome we'll talk to you later bye bye now